I'm Jim Jordan. Are you going to support him? No. You're not. Why not? Uh, I'm supporting Kevin McCarthy. All right, guys. So we got to follow up on the GOP Speaker of the House situation that is currently going on in Congress. Now, as you guys know, it has been a chaotic process of trying to get a new speaker to replace Kevin McCarthy. However, however, uh, there seems to be some light at the end of the tunnel as the GOP recently nominated Jim Jordan, who, in my opinion, is the guy that most of the conservative base, the people, that's who they actually want to be Speaker of the House. That's who we want to represent us, okay? This is what we want. And you know he's the right guy because Democrats have come out here and are now throwing a fit, okay? They're calling Jim Jordan an insurrectionist in response to him being nominated by the GOP, which again tells you everything you need to know about if Jim Jordan should be the guy. He was directly involved in the right-wing coup that sought to overturn the 2020 election. At every single turn, Jim Jordan has prioritized politics, power, fear, division, and hate over the American people. He has used his committee gavel to advance right-wing conspiracies while undermining the very institution that he serves. And he will inflict even more harm if he is allowed to have the speaker's gavel. Every Republican who casts their vote for him is siding with an insurrectionist against our democracy. Yeah, so that's music to my ears, right? She could not have sold me any better on Jim Jordan being the right guy based off what this woman just said, right? I'm just keeping it all the way 100 with you, okay? When you have people like Hillary Clinton that are upset, the boo hoo whining and crying because Kevin McCarthy got toppled, and you have Democrats now boo hoo whining and crying because Jim Jordan may take his place, that tells you everything you need to know, right? It tells you that, hey, you know, Jim Jordan is a step in the right direction, okay? However, however, Jim Jordan is going to have to overcome some significant obstacles in order to become speaker because you have some Republicans that are doing the unthinkable or that are thinking about doing the unthinkable in order to prevent him from becoming speaker of the House because Jim Jordan only got about 124 votes from Republicans uh, during the behind closed doors meeting where they all voted on a secret ballot uh, in regards to who they wanted to be House Speaker. Now, that is far short of the 217, 218 that are needed in order to become Speaker. And there's a lot of questions about whether or not uh, Jim Jordan is actually going to be able to get to those 217 votes that are needed. But um, I hope that Maybe just maybe they take this weekend and they can come to an agreement and he becomes the speaker. That's what I'm hoping. However, uh, again, you have some reports that are coming out here that are indicating that some Republicans are so opposed to Jim Jordan that they would rather work with Democrats to elect a speaker, which, in my opinion, would be a path forward for Hakeem Jeffries to potentially become speaker of the House if Democrats refuse to vote for a Republican and then you have so-called moderate Republicans uh, or anti-Jim Jordan Republicans, anti-MAGA Republicans. They end up caving, okay, to Democrats and their demands because they want to open the government up so that they can, you know, start to send money overseas again, right? Because that's what they want, right? And there's going to be a lot of pressure on them to do that. And again, this is something that we should be worried about, guys, because this is the absolute worst case scenario. And the Republican we got to talk about here today is Mike Rogers from Alabama, who has declared that he will not back Jim Jordan for Speaker of the House and would work with Democrats. So let's read here. Jim Jordan, Republican Ohio, won the Republicans' second secret uh, ballot speaker contest, defeating Representative Austin Scott from Georgia. However, according to a report from NBC News, he needs at least 217 votes to secure the gavel and one member of Alabama's congressional delegation appears to be standing in the way. The Republicans have a thin majority in the House, so five GOP detractors can block Jordan in a House vote. 
rep Mike Rogers of Alabama said, quote, there was nothing that Jordan could do to get his support as Speaker of the House, as reported in the Aniston Star. Rogers left a closed door meeting a caucus session Friday and said Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries should state concessions needed to help the GOP. Yeah. So, again, he's looking for Democrats to get on board uh, in order to elect a speaker. Uh, therefore, again, they can get back to sending money overseas. OK, um, you know, business as usual. And again, they know that with Jim Jordan, that's not going to be business as usual. OK, you're not going to get business as usual with Jim Jordan. And again, these guys, um, they don't want to break up the uniparty. Right. Quote, they put us in this ditch along with eight traders. Uh, Rogers told Capitol Hill reporters, quote, we're still the majority party. We are willing to work with them, but they got to tell us what they need. Rogers has voices anger at the eight Republicans who helped oust former Speaker Kevin McCarthy, calling them traitors who paralyzed the House, according to a report. A Jordan supporter expressed surprise. More people didn't back him. Quote, without a roll call, it makes it very difficult. But Jim is going to work through the weekend, the reporter supporter said. Yeah, so here's the thing. This same guy, Mike Rogers, uh, actually tried to fight Matt Gates. Uh, back during January when Kevin McCarthy was elected speaker uh, during about, what, 15, 16 rounds of debate. Okay, now uh, I want to play this video to remind you guys of who this guy is. This is Mike Rogers right here. This is Mike Rogers right here. Okay, if you guys see. Okay, he's coming down. So again, let's go back here. This is Mike Rogers. He has to be restrained. Okay, he has to be restrained by his colleagues from attacking Matt Gates. Right? He's being grabbed by the face, okay? Because he tried to fight Matt Gates. So that's how much of a lunatic this guy is, okay? Um and this is again the same guy that refuses to vote for Jim Jordan and would rather side with Democrats, right? While calling his other colleagues traitors. Again, fascinating stuff. So with that being said, what does this mean? Well, what it means is that the GOP probably is going to need to have a open floor vote among the conference in which publicly everybody can see who's voting for Jim Jordan and who's not voting for Jim Jordan. And at that point, those Republicans who are not voting for Jim Jordan, uh, they need to be called out and they need to be primary. It's really that simple. Now, there's some people in, you know, my comment section on my last video when I talked about this situation that said, well, you can't, you know, force the moderate Republicans to vote for Jim Jordan, right? You can't do that, uh, force them to do that. Well, here's the reality. I personally believe that these Republicans or so-called moderate Republicans, they're not voting for Jim Jordan, not because their constituents don't want to see Jim Jordan be the speaker. It's more so because they know that Jim Jordan is a threat to the uniparty establishment. And that's why they don't want him because he's already came out and said that, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm not going to just give Ukraine more aid, right? Or just keep, you know, giving them a blank check. And again, that is a threat to the establishment. So I don't believe that these guys are actually voting in the best interest of their constituents. I don't think they're voting in the way that their constituents want them to vote. And that's why I say that there needs to be an open floor vote and allow the people to see who's voting for Jim Jordan and who's not. And then those people from these districts can call their representative and tell their representative that, hey, you need to vote for Jim Jordan. I believe that the conservative base as a whole in this country wants to see somebody like Jim Jordan be speaker over somebody like Kevin McCarthy. Now, I think that ultimately this guy wants to see Kevin McCarthy become speaker again, right? They want to, to put Kevin McCarthy back into power. That's what they want. And he wants Democrats help to do that. But I think in a worst case scenario, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy decided to fold and to potentially make Hakeem Jeffries speaker of the house, right? Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. So again, that is the worst case scenario. And it looks like there are some Republicans 
who may or may not be willing to get on board with that because they're so upset and butthurt about what happened to Kevin McCarthy. They're so upset and butthurt that they have an actual conservative speaker that is not going to play along with the uniparty and their games. So you're seeing the backlash here. This guy's district is a R plus 19 district, right? It is a deep red district. So don't sit here and try to tell me that his constituents don't want to see Jim Jordan be speaker, okay? They do want to see Jim Jordan be speaker. It's simply the fact that this guy, he, again, is going along with a uniparty establishment. Being the chair of the Armed Services Committee, I'm pretty sure that he has a lot of defense contractor backers, right? Military industrial complex backers, donors who want to keep sending that money over to Ukraine, you know, and, you know, participating in foreign wars. Again, Jim Jordan is a threat to that, okay? Kevin McCarthy is not. Democrats are not, right? Again, it's, it's very simple to understand how this game works, guys. I keep trying to tell you, these people don't make decisions based off what their constituents want. Their decisions come down to what they're paid to vote for or against. It's really that simple. So again, I hope that Jim Jordan can get the 217. There are some reports saying that he can't. There are some people saying that he's, he can. I personally don't know. I hope he can. But if he can't, you know, convince them, then there needs to be an open floor vote. And then the people need to get involved. And we need to be threatening to primary these individuals who refused to get on board with making Jim Jordan speaker. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.